something, something going on today, dog. I'm about to get ready to pull up to Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Pull up on my boy CB Auto Tie. You feel me? One of the number one clubs in the state. You know what I'm saying? Elizabeth City, North Carolina, when it comes to the rim, man. Y'all gotta tap in with them. Got all kind of rim, all kind of deals, all kind of time right now. You know what I'm saying? Pull talk to you on out. I'm about to gas you, jump up, man. Y'all ride with me, dog. Guy real quick. Just had pumped it up, just gashed the car up. Um, like everybody hit the road, so I'm gonna tap back in with y'all when I tell down Elizabeth City, baby. All right, tap back in with y'all. Just made it down here, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. As you can see, I ain't in no new car. Let's see what I drove, Tyler Yana. Put that thing on the slab, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I think it was like a 54, 56 minute drive, almost an hour. You know what I'm talking about? We down here, just pulled up. I'm about to get ready to uh, walk in that jump. Let him give me a tour on everything. You know what I'm saying? What real? He specializes in selling all that, as y'all can see. Down here in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Man, y'all pull up on my boy for all your needs. All your automotive needs, man. Y'all tap in. Plain and day, tap in with that boy. As you can see, Tatiana, it posted up, dog. Little bit sitting in North Carolina, first time driving her down here. Let it ride. That's all the service he provide, man. Minor repair service. You know what I'm saying? You see what's going on. CB, oh, CB Auto Tie. Black Entrepreneur. Mess with it, dog. Let's get it. Let y'all see that the whole time. See me all the time. Real talk. Gotta let y'all see that jump right here, boy. Probably one of the harder Cadillacs out. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. We'll drop down real quick. Bring it on back up stale. And you know, you got them big boy roosters on that joint. Got them big boy roosters on that joint. Again, CB all the time. And you know he was on the promise land. Tap in. Got them skirts on that bad boy. That's it right there, boy. Decapitated box. This a donor for the junkyard box. The car he be racing. Y'all have seen him on my page before. Y'all have seen him on my page before. It's um the two though. You go back a free video when we at the track. 
a free video when we at the track. It's a car that go by the name of Junkyard Box. You know what I'm saying? And that's who actually spot on me. That's who business on me right now. And if you go back to the show, the Maryland show, um, when Don't Mouse was in Maryland, he the, he the thumbnail on that um, video too. She be all the time. So like I said, this is my first time. I told him I'm gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? He can tell y'all, tell y'all about the business, what rims he sell, what rims he can get. You feel me? If you need it, he down here in the area. He probably can ship everywhere. But um, right now he ain't not handling the business. So um, I'm gonna wait till you do that, and I'm gonna tap in with that boy. All right, man. So, I just, I just stepped up in the joint. The man, being the man himself, that boy CB, man. You just let him know what you got going on, what you do with your business, what kind of rim you sell, and all that good stuff right there. Hey, CB's Auto Italian. This is where it's at right here. Um, basically, I'm just telling you that pretty much got some big things. Also, also, not to cut y'all, also let them know like where you located at, too. So, we're located in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, it's 311 Four Spark Road, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Okay, cool, so, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, and you can hit us on the line, 252 334 Okay, perfect. See, we all the time. Yeah, so I guess we were talking about wheels earlier, and, and basically, man, like this year, we got a lot of things coming up. Um, okay. Right now, the Lexani and the Artist line, uh, two of my lines that we're real big and big on. Um, we got some new styles coming out with them, and I got okay. some special I'm working on too. And so stay tuned when you hear, from, hear about that. Okay, um, okay. Give me a rundown right here, on the rim, man. This right here is a, is a fan favorite right here. This is the Artist Bristol. Yeah, how um, that just look good. We have steering wheel to match. Uh, right now, we got some good pricing on the two piece setup. Okay. Um, prices vary depending on what type of car you have. Okay. Because of tire size. Tire yeah, size yeah, matter. for sure. Uh, but then also, too, with the modifications that's needed. Um, so that kind of depends on the price you will. Okay. Uh, another thing, too, we do ship. So for my okay. other town customers that's, that's uh, interested in wheels, we can ship to you. Um, also, we do finance. Uh, yeah, we use a SEMA Finance as one of our uh, finance options. Oh, SEMA, that big right now, that yeah, big. Yeah, they really big. And, okay. And uh, a lot of my customers take advantage of the ninety day purchase. Okay. Um, you get ninety days to pay, and and kind of you know you don't have to worry about the big interest uh, rate. Okay. Okay. Um, here these are like some quick specials here. Um, this some. This some more rounds y'all here spring y'all. Signy and uh, an artist. Well, that, those are the one piece ones. Okay. Brush face. Yeah, brush face, uh, chrome lips. Okay. Um, that's for my customers that want to get in something that looks good and not really trying to spend a big bag. Okay. Uh, and also, these wheels here come with steering wheels as well. So, you can get in the game with floating caps, steering wheel to match, and not really break the bank. Okay. You know I mean, you can get a, a combo for like 24, um, you know, somewhere around about, uh, well, 24s and 26s. You get the packages, wheels, tires, installed, and everything. Basically, we're talking, you know, under forty five hundred and less. Okay, so, hell of a deal. So yeah, it really gets you in the game. Okay. All right, so follow me. I'll show you the rest. All right, babe. We behind the right now. Um, all right. So pretty much, uh, this is just a small selection of what we have. We're yeah. still working on the winter stop. Um, during the winter, I don't bring a whole lot of wheels in, so that's going okay. to slow down a little bit. But just uh, for an example, uh, we have the artist lineup. Um, we have some stuff from Lexani. Um, and then we have some of the uh, Rebetti wheels as well. Okay. And also Asante. Okay. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, just a little variety. Even, okay. Even for the older stuff, like for the old school stuff, hot rod stuff, man. We got some American racing um, and some US made. So I try to have a variety of different things for you know, just different interests, man, different car enthusiasts. Feeling what they um, want. Yeah, and okay. also with the off-road, got a few things from hardcore. Um, I carry some fuel uh, stuff too. I don't really have much of the fuel stuff here on display. Okay. We do also have a lot of uh, replicas too that we get our hands on. Okay. Um, basically, I can get you way more than what you see here on in, in stock on display. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, there's so many options out there, and uh, if I have a special order for something in, I can get it in pretty quick. A lot okay. Of times for the next like one to three days, a lot of times while shipping some things in. So. Okay. Um, if it's something you want, you don't see it, I'll let them. I can get it for you. Yes, for sure. Uh, you got um, you don't got no rims like in the in the back that nobody asked me actually mount like on camera, do you? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You want to check it out? Yeah, I definitely want to check that out. 
It's a one stop shop. We're down to do everything. I'm just joking. to the back right now. This is shot. He walking into the shop. He do install. He just don't order. He install. He do everything. This is, this is the set of wheels we just found up right here, so American Forces. Well, they're gonna look good right there, boy. Yeah, yeah. Cause we came like 10 minutes early. Yeah, see, I record that, I'm out. Yeah. They gonna let them know what y'all got going on, what y'all putting down. Yeah, they ain't gonna put a new child on that phone. Mm -hmm. Can we find the old tire? Or which one? Right. For the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just so y'all remember, he only just do rent. He do regular tire too on call too. He got a, um, Absolutely. one of his um, a worker right here. He about 89. So he do all the time, and I know that thing is just ran. He do everything. The regular car, too. Well, Y'all come on down here, man. Little bit city, North Carolina. And like you say, he can ship worldwide. He might already have it. If he don't got it, he can order it. See, but you mind explaining to what's going on right now? This is CJ. This is my, this is my lead tire guy. He's been with me for, for quite some years. Okay. So you can see right there, I mean, it's a matter of a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Yeah, he thought that done on super fast. Yeah, he can put it on fast and I can explain it to you. For yeah, me. for sure. Okay. So he, he do it so much. This is an everyday thing for him. He do it with his eyes closed. Yeah, okay. You know. So basically, there's nothing that comes in that CJ can't handle when it comes to mountain tires. Man. Yeah, okay. No how small or how big, he can make, he can get it happen. He can make it happen. Okay, okay. Now, you also want to tell the people, you know what I'm saying? Because I was I telling them outside, you actually race, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can tell them, you can give them a rundown on that background, too, now. Yeah, yeah. So, right now, so, jump y'all box. Okay, I'll Chevy tell them about Greece. it. Um, I can't really, right now, you can't really see it right now because it's, it's kind of in the lab. It's uh it's disassembled at the moment because it's the off season, so we're trying to get ready for a race season 2024. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, the car started out as really a parts car, man. Is what it started out from. Okay. Um, started out from a parts car, and I kind of just looking around, looking at it, and realized like, man, these cars are so hard to find. Let me make something out of it. Yeah. So pretty much ended up, man, just looking around the garage, and I had an engine block, had some heads. I had a carburetor sitting to the side. I had a transmission and a stall over here. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I got all these parts. Let's round it up. Basically, we rounded up a whole bunch of just used parts I had laying around. Okay. You know, my, uh, minus a few other things I had and just go ahead and pick up. Yeah. But basically, just built the car for spare parts. And, and uh, ran that job. Running too, running ran, hard. Yeah, and, and went out there and actually, you know, kind of shot a lot of people with it, man. It, for it sure. was a contender. Like the first, the first uh, track event out. Like I think I won a street class, the bracket street class. Really. So, that was, was it. Hurst for King of the yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that? It was, uh, it was okay. a bracket. It was a Saturday. Um, they had a bracket race, and we, we put it in the street uh, class. And man, won. I think I think it was like June 11, 2022, I think. Okay. Um, I got one. I got the picture in the office. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so from there, you know, just. Hey, just going up from there. Um, okay. Trying to get a little faster, changing a little thing. What's up? And uh, I raced that for what? For one whole season. And then 2023, we went with the big block. And, okay. Uh, it came out with that with the big block. Uh, kind of reached some other milestones. Yeah, okay. Uh, got faster, reached some other milestones. And so now um, I'm continuing with the big block. But okay. Just uh, capitalizing on some areas that need to be uh capitalized on yeah yeah seeing some things that need to be improved like uh some changes that i need to make that will help me get better time. okay that's what we're doing making the car safer or so, so or not so. just faster but safer as well um and then the presentation of it you know i like that rugged look with the car yeah yeah um but, it the, but the presentation of it is you know you know i like the rugged look 
I just want to clean some things up a little bit. Okay. You know, make it look a little, it's a, a little bit uh, more presentable. Put a little flavor on it. Okay, yeah, I got you. you. Know what I got mean? you. So we're going to throw a little clear coat on the patina. Okay. You know what I mean? And, uh, and we're gonna do a few other things, man, just kinda enhance the look a little bit, but and that ruggedness. When you do that, I'm gonna have to come down here and get um get some coverage on that junk. Cause I will record the um the link out there by the make sure I, I oh, ain't got it right. Yeah, the the caddy. Caddy. okay, okay, yeah. And matter of fact, yeah, but actually what's so crazy, I'll tell you what, I will give you a sneak a sneak peek. Okay. I will give you a sneak peek. I'll show you a few different things All right, that cool. I'm working on with it. Um, like I said, it's a little tore down right now, but yeah, uh, I'll show you a few little things. I got a question for you. So, yeah. with you having, you know what I'm saying, with you selling the tide, the rims, mm -hmm. and you race, do you provide any service as far as in that field, somebody who's trying to get into the racing, or that more your personal thing? So, the racing thing is more my, like more my hobby thing. For sure, for you know, sure. So, for business day to day, I work um, pretty much based off of minor repair and service okay you know, other than the tires tires i showed them that on the one or two lines, yeah, minor repair and service you know you pull up you need an alternator a starter you know you need okay in and out like stuff okay i got yeah, you. you know what i mean just outside industry. just um with you know an eight hour work day man it's kind of hard with the traffic that we have it's kind of hard to like do a lot of internal engine repair yeah so i try to stay away from that okay um, but for the most part, man, a lot of your uh, minor repair and service, that's what we uh, specialize in. Now, like I say, the racing is my hobby. That's um, a hobby. I don't really get into a lot of uh, customer work for the high performance stuff. Yeah. Um, from time to time, I might break the rules and I might do a little, do a job here and there. But time is just don't permit for me, man. Yeah, so, time is everything. Um, that's something we be fighting against. Yeah, man. It's, it seems like, you know, it's, it's less and less time in the day for us. So. Um, but what I am looking to get into is being being able to provide the parts, sell you the parts. So, yeah. Um, we got some things we're working on that we can provide you customers with race parts, or whatever. We can sell it to you, ship okay. it to you, whatever the case may be. Um, especially being that you know we're this deep in the racing right now. Yes. And have the resources. So. Race is right around the corner. Right around the corner, man. Um. Racing wheels, like we got something we're working on for racing wheels. Okay. As well, um, and then with the tires, of course, you know, I sell, we sell a lot of it, provide a lot of that. So. Yeah. So yeah, so um, definitely. But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Of, yeah, of for the sure. Box. Before we do that, man, let me ask you this: So with your with your racing background, right? Mm -hmm. And. I'm not a racer, but you know what I'm saying? I did take my car down the track last year for the first time, but a quick tear pad. And by you having the experience, what kind of uh, advice you can give me? Because when I pulled up at the light, you remember at the light, um, I basically, basically they were telling me I red lighted, which means I took too long to turn my second bulb on. Can you explain to the people like who might be in my situation, like explain to them that it actually two beams invisible beams going yeah. across the track that you got to pull up and you got you know what i'm saying the time span you got to pull up and all that how that go man right, so this is my my best advice. first thing first is patience all right what yeah patience the first thing yeah. first, because this is the thing when when uh when you get into racing uh, it's new it's a new different field for sure. the adrenaline rush for sure man everything that you practice on you can forget it at that you moment. forget yeah yeah you yeah know, yeah okay that's just what it is yeah. Um, the good thing about right now is you have a lot of video games, you have a lot of apps that you can play on yep, your phone yep. that can kind of prep you and get you ready for that. So, yeah. you know, just to kind of get a little practice in, it's good to maybe download those games on your phone. Yeah. Um, play some of the video games just to kind of get a, just to get uh, a I little did. understanding okay. of them. First yeah. off. Second off, when you go out to the track on race day, man, it's good to have somebody with you. Especially that, that knows what's going on. If you don't know what's yeah. going on, it's good to have somebody with you that, that yeah. knows what's going on. You need a coach. Of course, Someone to of course. coach you along and, and kind of guide you and tell you what to do. Yeah. Um, that's where it's very important when it comes to the beans. Okay. Because even, even myself, sometimes when you go to some tracks, if you're not familiar with the track, it's kind of hard to locate the beans sometimes. Yeah. Um, sometimes, you know, you have, sometimes you have uh, indications of showing you like where the beans are, and sometimes you don't. Okay. So having somebody with you, that can pretty much locate the beam outside the car. Yeah. To get, to, you know, kind of mark off to tell you how far to come up. And okay. then uh, it's good to have somebody which is knowledgeable to kind of coach you along to tell you like, okay, when to come up. When to come when up. To stop. 
you know, to get you in the groove and shoot you in the groove. Can you explain to um? Uh, Cause I just kind of just learned about that part. But can you explain to me what the groove mean for the people yeah. who don't know? So what they do is when they put the rubber down, when they when they put the rubber down for the track and treat the track. Okay. Where your best contact points are is, is you have a certain groove. Okay. And that's where basically where everybody has been lining up in and taking off. Yeah. When yep. they're doing it, when they're doing the burnout, well, in case may be, you know, they're putting you're putting the rubber down. Yeah. And so that's going to be the best contact. Um, patch for your target the stick to it okay exactly. so so basically you want to be in that groove to get the best traction if yeah. you're outside of the groove and where the rubber is a little loose or what the case may be yeah then the car can get get the spin in and and or what what the case, you know or whatever so, okay so however it's very important to have someone to line you up get you in the groove and then that way you can have the best uh, launch possible yeah um, when it comes to your burnout man it, it's uh it's imperative to uh Get the tires spinning over hot, you know what I mean? Okay. Get them spin over quick. Um, and then also have a good set of brakes, you know, to kind of, especially in the front, to kind of hold the car. Yeah. Sometimes you just roll through. Yeah, yeah. Not get the tires, uh, you know, spun fast enough. Okay. Um, so, man, you know, that's the major thing, man, to just having, having someone with you that's knowledgeable, that can kind of coach you through it, um, and guide you through it. First thing you want, and what you were saying about the light situation. Yeah. When you get up to the bend, you wanna you wanna turn your first station light on. Okay. From that point, me personally, what I do is once I turn the first light set of lights on, yeah, I start building up on my converter. Okay. As I start building up on my converter, you know, naturally your car is gonna lunge forward a little bit. Yeah. But when I start building up, when I turn the first lights on, I'm building up on my converter at that point, and I'm building up my RPMs of where I wanna launch. Okay. So once I start building the RPMs of where I want, and this is foot breaking now, this is not trans breaking. Foot breaking, okay. This, this is great foot breaking. Okay. Trans breaking is another story. Yeah. Once I start building up on that converter, I'm looking at I'm looking at my RPMs to figure out where I want the car to launch. Now I'm looking at the second set of bulbs, seeing if I got them on. Okay. At that point, once it launches forward, sometimes it'll turn the second set of bulbs on, but I don't like to do that. I like to be able to build up on the converter with the first set of bulbs on, and then I like to let off the brake a little bit. Yeah. Get it, to get it to roll, to turn the second set on. Once that second set of lights is on, then at that point, it's go time. Now um. So another thing with, mm -hmm. with, with the bulb thing, can you also explain to the people the road that the car play next to you too? <laughs> That's a big road. You feel me? <laughs> That's I a big road. Yeah. Okay. So this is the next tricky thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. on the car beside you. A lot going on. Yeah, it's a lot going on. You got a lot to think about because yeah. now the car beside you. Depending on the racer, they can go ahead and trip their bulbs on early, or they can take forever. Oh damn! Okay. So so they don't gotta you don't gotta bump yours on. Then he bump his. He can actually they go and knock yeah. his on the seat though, and you yeah. pull up, knock your sack one on, and absolutely. And that's a lot going. And, yeah, that's, that's a lot going on. That's used as intimidation thing too. You know. <laughs> for real. Yeah, it's used as intimidation. This is another way to get in your head. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause they would have thrown me out like. Oh, I thought I saw. All right, okay. Yeah. He put you yeah. down right yeah. now, y'all. Listen, now. depending on depending on the vibe and the, and the mood or whatever, you can play it both ways. Like you get somebody, say for instance, if you a if you a green racer, yeah, and you ain't familiar, the other person a lot of times they want to get advantage of. It. They want to go ahead and cut the cut the bulbs on early, make you panic. You know what I mean? And when you panic, you Man, know, life. you got all kinds of stuff going on in your yeah. head. And they say, you know, yeah, you you the red light. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, or you get some races to feel like I'm gonna make you wait, and so you all anxious and ready. You all you got your mindset. You know this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. And now they taking forever to turn the lights on. And now you waiting. You waiting. You building your car up. Okay. That's a problem because if you're building the RPMs, like I explained, you holding the RPM, holding the RPM, holding the RPM. They taking forever, and they're not doing nothing. So it's kind of it's messing up your concentration. Yeah. So is now, that you, now you come off, especially if you're trans breaking. Yeah. Now you gotta pretty much reset. So it's like. So now you build up the RPMs, you're holding, you're holding, you're holding. They take them forever to turn the bulbs on. And now you're like, man, let me come out. Let me come down a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get back in it, now it's kind of like, oh, let me go. So, so um, not to cut you off, but that mm -hmm. part right there, can you also explain to the people, like, as far as the, if he take it forever, I thought they give you, like, a certain, like, seven seconds or something, so you yeah, got to. Yeah, you supposedly, so... Certain tracks do things different ways, but yeah. Okay. But you, I mean, when I say take forever, not necessarily like take all day. But, yeah, for sure. But but sometimes a lag still, to it. Yeah, just yeah. just you know just 
wasting some time really can just throw you off your game. It can. It's a lot. It's a, so it's a lot of mind. A lot of mind play it when it comes to in that um when you in the bean getting ready to go down the trash. A lot going on. Call trash and everything. It's a lot of intimidation, man. In the yeah. race, I mean, even when it comes to your burnout, you do your burnout, and everybody trying to do the best burnout. So you know what I mean. You got you doing your burnout, and the person beside you doing a long John John Force burnout. You know, it's it's all the mind. That's my next question. So some people say. Do a big burnout, some people say it don't, but you saying at least it'll be nice enough to heat your tires up at least. So this was so crazy. Um I off of the hard tire, I run um I got a drag pack. The drag pack setup is like a fifteen inch a street slick combo, street slick in the in the rear, and I run like a eighteen inch skinny in the front. Okay. And um I, I usually run like a, either a Hoosier Quick Time Pro or Mickey Thompson H E Street. And okay. I, and what I found with that is, I seen times where I burnt the tires down, got them really, really hot. Yeah. And it seemed like, you know, they like it didn't, it didn't really hook as good. Then I had okay. times where I just spin it over, just get them little, get them nice, get them warm real quick, and and go. And I got my best sixty foot times out of it. Okay. Um, different tires have different recommendations. Yeah. And for the most part, with me running the, the street, the like the ET streets or like the street slicks. Okay. The ET slick. Yeah. Um. They don't require a lot of burning down, man. Okay. Just a little bit of heat in a the bit tire, of heat. and they, and you know, if it's a suspension setup, they know the hook, hook pretty good. Okay. But uh, but again, but mainly it's it's find out from the tire man manufacturer what they recommend for the burnout. Yeah. That's my first time ever hearing it. That was that my first time. I appreciate yo. People yeah. gonna appreciate that. I ain't. I, I never thought about actually calling the manufacturer mm -hmm. what they recommend. I just thought you just get out there and. Okay, yeah, yeah that's another level of thinking burn right there. Burn down, burn out, you know, hot as you can. That ain't always the case. You know, sometimes okay. they have different uh, different require, different recommendations yeah. um, on what they feel like is, is ideal. Okay. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, like I said, it's, it's, a lot of, um, it's a lot of variables, you know, to the to the drag racing, um, and there's a lot of mind games. Mind works, so all there, so all there. A lot of mind games. So. Okay, another question I had for you, um, before you showed me, like, the sneak peek. Mm -hmm. So would you, would you say like the which which um rim brands you say you say are that Sony artists? Yeah, so basically there's a lot of wheel brands that I sell, but my main in house wheels, and my main brands that we keep here all the time that we sell the most of is going to be like your Lexani in the street uh, wheels, uh, your Lexani, your artist wheels. Okay, um, those are like the biggest the biggest sellers for me right now. Okay, um, would would you say you probably one of the the biggest dealers, I guess, in your area of North Carolina, yeah, for sure. this right here. Sure. I wasn't gonna say the um the state, but I'm gonna say it anyway. We're gonna speak it into existence. Yeah, yeah. You so, the biggest, you the biggest dealer sure, when it comes sure. to no reels in the I state. Think when it comes to um, when it comes to being a, a supplier of the Lexani and all this stuff, I probably uh, between between North Carolina and Virginia here on the East Coast, between North Carolina and Virginia, man, I probably. I probably sell the most. Oh, that's uh, major, y'all. Yeah. So I said the right thing, y'all. Yeah, okay. When it comes to those, the biggest, those right there. Um, and and other than that, man, on the, like the off road stuff, man. Look, Sony do have some off road wheels too. Okay. Um, that they offer like the twenty and twenty two inch. Yeah. Um, I do sell a lot of fuel. Sell a lot of fuel wheels, man. Okay. Fuel is a, is a big seller for me. Moto metal, uh, some hardcore, a little bit of hostile stuff. Okay. Um. And then of course, um, of course, I showed you with the with the hot rod stuff, man. Yeah. And you have your US mag and your American. Bit for everybody, got something for everybody. Yeah. And then, uh, and like I say, you know, you have your you have your one piece wheels too, um, like your Rivetti's, uh, your Jimas, uh, you know, different wheels, different brands like that. Man. Okay. Just your affordable one piece wheels. Yeah. Just your everyday wheels that you that you put on the car every day. You know? Okay. And I also heard you had said something about um, SEMA is a sponsor for you. So no 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 not okay. SEMA. So basically, SEMA is uh of course everyone knows SEMA is uh like the largest car convention in, For the, sure. in the world, man. Yeah. And so, however, um every year I, I attend it every, every year. I think I've been attending that for the last ten years. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, since we haven't missed a show in ten years, man. Yeah. Besides uh, the one year it was canceled for COVID. Okay. Um, but uh, other than that, but as far as a sponsor. Um, right here locally, Advance Auto Parts is, okay. uh, is one of my, is major uh, plug. One of my major sponsors. I, I do a lot of business with them. We we buy, I buy a lot of parts from them. 
Um, so they, and not, also, not only that, but with the interest of the high performance stuff, yeah. um, they have actually uh, done a good job with supplying me with high performance parts as well. Um, okay. So, and then I'm, a, I'm also able to sell those high performance parts to my customers. Y'all yeah, tap in with them now. Y'all yeah, tap yeah. in with them. So, advanced all get the for you. in Elizabeth City. Um, good people there, man. They can definitely, if you want to order something online, if you're here local and you want to order something online, check with them first. Because okay. uh, they can order you something in. They're not going to have it in stock. They can order Yo. it in. Um, and they can have it pretty quick. So, you know, instead of ordering like off of eBay or something like that, uh, you know, check with them. Check with them okay. first before you, before you do that. You also want to, uh, you got any social media you can uh, get the people? Like they yeah. want to follow you or anything right there, follow your, you know what I'm saying, your racing career, all that right there. For sure, for sure. Okay. So um, on Instagram, of course, it's CB underscore underscore auto tie. Okay. Um, that's where you can find me there. Uh, I put it on the screen. Yep. Okay. On Facebook, it's uh, Calvin CB Auto Tie Boom. That's my personal page. Okay. Uh, the business page is CB's Auto Tie and Service. Uh, okay. The business page. Okay. Um, those are the only two that. Those are the only yeah. two that I mainly use right now. So, okay. But uh, it's a lot. To, it's a lot to try to cover, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You um, uh, you want to give me a rundown of that, that sneak peek? I know the people waiting on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, give me a second. I'm gonna go out here. Right. I'm gonna get some things ready. So you got the wagon over there, the box wagon over yeah, there. Man. You build that for one of my guys. Oh damn. Um, what what we walking up on right now, CB? What the name of this car right here? All right. Yeah, seeing the down series right now, man. Get ready for the race season with 2K24. Yeah, look, I don't want to see it with the, uh, with the tires and stuff. Man, people like, people like seeing the rope hard, man. They can, they can relate. Oh, you got the hood on the jump now? Okay, you had to put the hood on, okay. Yeah, so right now, so right now we're so busy with work, I had to kind of push it outside and I just kind of got it jacked up out of the way right now. Which car is this? Like, what, well, uh, to let the people know, what car is it? The one you were telling about earlier. So this is '79 Chevy Caprice, aka the Junk. Junk y'all, but this is the one he was talking about, y'all. Yeah. As I can see, the name said uh, Junk y'all, but you don't got to guess when you see him at the track. When you see Junk y'all, but you know this him. Yeah. So right now, this is the ugly stage. You know okay. how you know how like when you uh, when you when you're getting your hair right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking yeah. kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. This is the ugly stage right here. This okay. Is the stage where she outside, there's leaves all on it. You know, I'm trying to be working on it in between the other jobs. Customers come first, of course. For so. So, um, we're working on it in between jobs. So she got to be out here in the weather right now. Yeah. But we gonna we got some things we're working on. We're adding to it. Um, rewiring the whole car, uh, upgrading electronics, uh, upgrading transmission. Okay. Um. And some other it's suspension stuff, upgrading the brakes. Yeah. So, uh, right now we're getting all that done. Then we're gonna, after that's done, we'll get it inside, and then we're gonna kind of, just kind of maybe just uh, improve the, the looks a little bit. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna clear the patina. We're gonna do something with the top. Um, that's a little different look for 2024. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's the ugly stage right now. Man, can you tell them, like the transformation that you had to do to de decapitate. The loaner car, man. Yeah, the donor yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. So Big, hey, y'all listen to it right here, man. So this is this is crazy. So what happened was originally when I first bought this car, I bought the car for folks. Yeah. This car was a donor was actually a donor car for another car that that I was building. Okay. Um, and the, the body of this car was way rougher than the other car that I that I was building. Yeah. So basically, um. I bought the car just for a few parts. There was only a few good parts only that I needed. Okay. Those parts all, and that's when I decided to do something with it. So the, the worst part about the car was the car used to have a white vinyl top. Yeah. And under the vinyl top, it, I guess it sat on a tree for so long. Okay. Under the vinyl top, the whole roof was rusted out. Yeah. Like it was so rusted that you could sit inside the car and look up. The headliner had came down and you could basically look up and you could see the sun shining through the vinyl. Okay. That's how rusty it was. So yeah. So immediately I was gonna trash it, but when I realized, you know, hey, these cars are hard to find, I'm like, let me do something with it. Okay. So, um, basically, race the whole first season with the rusted out top. After yeah. every race, man, we get down to the end of the race, rust is falling on you. Oh damn. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad, man. Okay. But but I had a vision. So um, as far as the top, man, uh, had some uh, unfortunate 
situation with trying to get the top fixed. Yeah. So basically, um, I ended up, you know, but had friends of mine that came through, man, and uh, one of my guys found a donor car, which I'll show you. Um, okay. And then another buddy of mine said, "Look, man, when you get the donor car, bring it to." The just get both cars to the house. Yeah. And we're gonna knock this out. We're gonna make it a weekend project. Decapitated. And that's what he did, man. So if you see, if you notice, um, the, the top was cut right along here, um, off off of this car. We pulled the glass out, cut the okay. top, cut the top off the other one, and pretty much did the measurements and, and put it back in place and worked it up. And we kind of left it rough, you know. You, you see the well be. We le we left it rough. I mean, I mean, that's. It's Let me give him a walk top. around real quick, yeah. man. Cause y'all. Remind y'all, just remember what he said. Now, this is a rough stage, and um, they're going to dress up a little bit for the new year. So, I just want you, I want to show y'all the rough stage. Y'all can see the whole joint. Because I love seeing the project and showing y'all the aftermath after he put his flavor on it. So, y'all get a whole walk around, man. Okay. Like I said, he decapitated the joint. Yeah. And like I said, I already showed y'all the car, but he going to be able to walk y'all around. Bam. He's gonna be able to walk us around the one that he actually took the top off and explain the process. I mean, I ain't never met nobody who actually did it in, in person, though. You feel? Yeah. So, yeah, see if he did that, and though. I, and I, got, I have footage too up there. For real? Yeah, so I can get you the footage. So okay. No problem. It's definitely, and it's something that I learned. You know, body, I know enough, I know enough to get myself in trouble when it comes to like body work and paint. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But this right here was something I definitely couldn't handle on my own. Okay. And so, my buddy, buddy of mine, Tim, man, he really, he's a mastermind when it comes to this stuff. Mastermind, man. okay, shout out to that yeah. boy Tim. Yeah, he's one of the best, he's one of the best to do it, man. So, he the one that kind of mapped it out and told me what needed to be done, man. And, and he said, look, let's come through, we're gonna make it happen. Okay. And, and basically, man, he made it happen in like a, in a two days. Two days, it was a two day night. Damn. This is a donor car right here. This is a donor car, y'all. Can't make this, I can't make this stuff up. I, I can't make it up. Yeah, so this is the donor yeah. car right here. Um, actually, basically, this car uh, came, was pulled out of the junkyard. Pulled out of the junkyard. It, was, had a, it had a solid top, but every panel on the car had a dent. So, if you this is the hood, this is the top that actually came off your, your car. Yeah, this is something that got done. Um, in the process, and like I said, just we just had to do something totally different. So, yeah, he took it to a whole nother level. All this right here was cut off. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah, it came right up in here, cut it, cut it off here, pull the glass out, okay, cut it off here, and uh, transferred everything over. Transferred there. everything to on uh, the junk y'all yeah, bought. She look good too. So yeah, and I just you know I just kept this right here just for a few other parts. I mean, cause yeah, good frame. Uh, that's good frame. It has some uh, good glass left in it. Um, a few other things that people may need. So before I before I get rid of it, man, there's also some things here that we can we can use to salvage. You know? Okay. So, but yeah, so definitely, man, this is uh, what it is, man. It's definitely a, a big project. But shout out to you know. Good friends, man. Good yeah, for friends. sure. It ain't about what you know. Sometimes it's about who you know, yeah, man. Real man. talk. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes things the money can't buy, man. Man, what? Favorite, favorite, good friends, man. Yep. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you're a good person, man. Man, it, it pays. It pays. Just Go a long way. Good, good people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm thankful for that. Thank God for, for that. So. For sure. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much. That's uh, it. Yeah, for that, but okay. Like I said, you seen the ugly stage of the car. See the ugly stage. You know, I, I hate to, I hate to show the ugly stage. Nah, you but, got to, man. You got to. For the, for the love of the game, man. I'm yeah. gonna show y'all that. But just keep in mind when it come together, you know. Just yeah, it's game it time. From, that right there gonna motivate somebody because it could be somebody out there right now. It could be somebody out there right now that doing a project, and and you know you know just like how in the car. It'll, uh, it'll deter you sometimes, you know what I'm saying? When they see what you done did, you had to go get a whole, he had to get a whole nother donor car, yeah. decapitate, cut the, the um, top off, get it welded on. Whatever you got going on, pretty sure it don't require that much work like this one did. So, man, y'all keep going, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep sure. going. And, and another thing, too, is when you're getting into this type of project, yeah. man, the way you start it is how it's going to end. For sure. You know, like, you started off wrong, it's not going to, it's not going to end. You know yeah. I mean? 
So you got to start it off right. Um, do start, it right. Try to do it off right and make it easier on you. The first um, time, do it right. Do it right the first time. Take your time. Man, take your time. You got to take your time. Be patient. Be patient. Make sure that whoever's doing whatever work is knowledgeable. Um, just, you know, that's just what it is. You know, yeah. Quality. Okay, you got in on um, you got in closing close the word, man. Any 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 motivational words for the youth out there? You know what I'm saying? Just man, anybody, man. Man, for real, for real. I one thing I can just say is you know stay motivated. Stay motivated. Stay man. motivated. Um, patience. Have a drive. Patience, have goals. Have definitely. ambition. Definitely. Keep going in it's, life, man. Yeah, it's so much I can say, man. Yeah, so much for I can sure. Say. I guess you know it kind of you know. For everybody, everything you said, man, I mean, you definitely got to have a goal. We got to have a vision and, and, and stay motivated in there. We're living in a um, hell of a world right now. So it's so much crazy stuff crazy. going on. So crazy, just to be to wake up every day in your right mind. It's a if you're in your right mind, you can figure it out. Yeah, you feel man, it's, it's a lot going on right now. Man, you know, and spread love. Let's spread hate, love. You know I mean? Real like, talk. Come together, man. Things can be so much easier, man. If we Yo, together. For sure. And, 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 you know, just get on the same page and and just be on the same team. We're not all, we're not gonna agree on everything. We're not yeah. gonna get along with everything, man. But sometimes it just takes us to just sit down, man, and just just, just tap in and understand what somebody else is going through. Man, and, what? And just, just have an understanding, man. And, yep. and you know, and, and life is about sacrifices too. You know it is, mean? man. We can't always get what we want when we want it. You um, know. So you know, take patience and hard work and understand it. You know what I mean? For sure. And, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, you know, don't cut another man neck for your own game. You know what I mean? Real so, talk. But that's just what it is, man. All right. Okay. So, okay. So y'all, y'all know how I end it, man. It me and Steve TV. Well, now, like I said, I, I came down here, made that drive, living in North Carolina. Yeah. So I put that LS. Like, like, seven that chef boy said, me ride on Ohio. I ride my jump, man. I ride my jump. But with that being said, we better get up out this jump. But y'all see me and CB next time. It's probably going to be track season. We're going to be at the track. So, me and CB TV, y'all tap in with that boy. Best thing ain't smoking on YouTube. Shout out, I ain't lying. Like, comment, like. subscribe. Man, tell somebody so they tell somebody about the boy, man. Highway 45, bringing down Southern Clay County. Man, y'all know my neck of the wood. Back home, baby. I'm down here with CB, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Y'all tap in. Man, we out, dog. Later. Yeah, yeah, they know my whole